Hi class, Dr. Sanser. I wanted to reach out and say welcome to Healthcare Financial Management, HMGT320. This is a really exciting course as we take a look at how finance works in uh, the healthcare management uh, setting. So uh, if you take a look at uh, just our landing page, what is this course uh, going to be about? It's going to interpret healthcare financial statements and type of information provided on a balance sheet, income statement, and cash flow, uh, cash flow statement. So it's the finance behind how you know uh, healthcare uh, is managed from a financial perspective. Then also we also have to take into consideration when we're talking about you know uh, finances is the ethical and legal uh, components of it. And then uh, how do you you know budget in finance? How do you do a, a cost benefit analysis, profit analysis? And then, you know, with this, we want to be able to demonstrate knowledge of federal health care legislation uh, and IT requirements, because as you know, or should know, or if you don't, then you'll learn um, how, um, you know, our legislative body, the federal government also impacts health care from laws and guidance to uh, the managed care uh, and things of that nature. So there's a lot of moving pieces that goes into that. You know, some health systems have charity care and how that's looked at as well. So that's a that's a broad overview of the course. Um, it's a like I said, it's a super exciting course. Now, when we think about, uh, you know, from if we take a look at just and how, the, you know, your course will flow and operate, of course, you know, week every week we'll have uh, discussion questions that you'll make your initial post and then interact uh, with your peers as well with uh, to meet the you know the required number of interactions with your peers and uh, always be uh, be mindful that in your initial post when you when you respond to it you need to um, support it with references and in-text citations so that's that's required on every initial post um, and uh, yeah from week to week so your first uh, your first assignment take a actually jump down to week four your first assignment is due um monday uh november 28th so what i suggest is you know when you first jump into class is to you know go through your entire classroom you know not just start off on week one and then well what's i'm going on for week two week three that kind of thing but take the time go through your entire course and so you give a good a good idea of you know what's ahead of you, what's expected, and also as you go through it, if you have any questions for me, you can reach out ahead of time, you know, to get those answered and help help give you direction. All right. So um, also want to take a minute to jump down to um, actually course resources. There we go. So on the course resources, you're going to see the <clears throat> the link here for you know your syllabus announcement, professional uh, professor co uh, corner, but specifically around your syllabus. So always take a look at your syllabus. When I was in school, always the first thing I did was looked at the syllabus and understood it, um, and specifically um, with your assignments, because in you know in the course portal, your assignments going to have an outline you know on what to do, etc. Also look at the syllabus because it has some additional requirements and things you need to know um, in turning in your assignment. And when you do look at the syllabus and you know look at the uh, an assignment specific, it'll give you points and you know what's required. Well, that's the same as my grading rubric. So when I take your assignment, I'll be grading you from the rubric, and the rubric basically is the syllabus. So definitely encourage you to look at that and understand it. Um, for late assignments, late assignments uh, are, are not accepted past three days, and in that there will be a 10% penalty. So um, please be timely, timely on your submittal so you can achieve all the points possible. All right, let's take a look. I do um, post frequent announcements, and as you saw getting started in course, I preloaded with a, a number of uh, an announcements. Let me just go over there. So as you'll see in the announcement section, uh, of course, welcome to class and in my welcome uh, letter that provides an overview of the course. And then I've asked uh, for you to briefly introduce yourself in the community so you get to know um, your peers and also 
uh, I do read them and respond and get to know uh, each other a little bit better. Uh, now, as far as some of the um, you know requirements, class course re requirements, I put in here references and in text citations. It talks about you know again your initial posts needs a reference, and then in text citation working it into your written um, body. Um, all assignments, whether it's uh, noted in the uh, in the requirements has to have uh, a reference and an in-text citation. Uh, APA sample paper and video. Um, APA is the, the base for all your written assignments unless otherwise noted. And uh, in this um, paper and video, um, I created just a sample paper for formatting. So, you know, if you think about like what I say here, or watch a video, or even read the manual, um, the paper is just um, uh, a help guide, you know, help tool to see what all that looks like. You know, the APA manual is a wonderful book. I used to actually teach APA classes, but it's it's a lot, and it's it's more than you need with the the breadth and depths and length of the assignments we do here. So, um, um, what's you know needed on every assignment is your title page. And um, I even have a post here on what my expectations are for what you'll put on your title page and uh, talks, well, walks you right through it. So every assignment, I have a title page, an introduction and conclusion, regardless if it's stated in the assignment, because that is needed, an introduction for your reader. And then the, bo <clears throat> the body of your assignment, which the body would be, of course, what your assignment uh, criteria is. Um, in the in, within the body of your assignment, make sure you use at least level one headings. And a level one heading basically is is alerting the reader that you're going from section to section to section. So I go into more detail about that, and then of course your conclusion, and then your references. So I won't go into detail on a haul that's to be laid out here, but definitely take a, a minute to look at the paper and watch the video. It's like three minutes. Uh, and that'll put you right in alignment with what my expectations are for your papers and, and how you'll be graded. Um, and then lastly, here's the assignment word count. So assignment word counts are basically a guide to give you an idea of what, how long your paper should be. Should it be 100 words, 1,000, 10,000? So the word counts are that it's a guide to get you in the ballpark of where the expectations is for the length of your paper. Um, don't use it as an absolute. So, don't, you know, if it says 500 and just so don't stop writing at 500 or 300 and say, oh, my 300 words, I'm done. I grade your paper on the uh, content and the quality and how you are aligning that to the um, um, assignment requirements. So, again, it's a guide. So, if it's 500, it says 500 words, it's going to be about, you know, 500, right? So, if it says 500, Definitely don't give me a 10,000 word paper, which I don't think you would anyway. So it's a guide. It's not an absolute. Again, when I grade, I grade on the quality and, the, and how the content aligns to what the requirements are. All right. Well, um, if you have any questions about anything in the course, you can, and in the profess, uh, professor corner here, you have my, uh, of course, you have my email already, but my email, you have uh, my cell phone. The best way is just uh, uh, initially, if you want, you know, just email me because I get it real time on my cell phone anyway. Then I can address your question if it's an urgent matter uh, or uh, maybe if for some reason you did email me and I didn't get back to you right away, please text me. So, I mean, you can always text me. Best avenue is email me first and then texting if, if we need to. Also, if there's, you know, uh, if you need some additional support and guidance on, Anything in the, in the course room, anything I've covered here in this video, uh, or more uh, more support on an assignment, we can set up a, a, um, a conference call and we can talk through it and go through it and give you any of the support and guidance uh, that you need to get through it, um, or any other you know um, issues that come up in you know the eight weeks. All right. Well, thank you for your time. I'm excited to be your professor for this course. We're going to have an amazing eight weeks and uh, I know you're going to have a good time, learn a lot and, um, and have a good session. So with that, I thank you and uh, we'll be seeing you soon in the course portal. Thank you.